In the dark at Park Esler, the drummers were a bit early for the Danske Bank Casement Cup final, but the lights soon came on, the supporters arrived in big numbers, and the drums began to beat. Red High responded to the backing of their fans with the only goal of the first half. Captain Owen Sands lofting the ball in and a flick to the net. Downpatrick added a second goal to ensure the Portaferry man got to climb the steps to claim the cup from Danny Stinton from Danska Bank. Owen gave special praise to his teachers. Yeah, no, it wasn't easy to get us crowd of boys together, but Mr. Swale managed to do it with a bit of help. You know, a couple of trainings there over mid-term wasn't easy, but we managed to drag ourselves out of bed and get in for them. What do you mean it wasn't easy? Was that it? You couldn't get up? Uh, it's, it's never easy to get up over Halloween. Boys partying and it's cold and that, but uh, we were determined to win. And that's, I think that's what drove us on, our determination and our commitment to get, to get the win in this final. There's a proud tradition of Horland in our school. We've, uh, thankfully, we're a couple of all-stars in the last couple of years, Danny Toner and Mick McKenna. But at last now, we've, some, we've been a senior. This is our first ever senior final. Um, we've done the likes of Brother Charles. You get Horland going in our school very proud. On to the McGeehan Cup final at Casement Park, where Andun proved to be a big success in the competition as an amalgamation. They played brilliantly to reach the decider, which saw All-Ireland final referee James McGrath take charge of the contest. Andoon put up a very good show well into the second half against St Mary's Belfast, with this goal leaving the decision in the mix going into the last quarter. That's when St Mary's pulled away with a couple of goals to take the cup in an historic year. Ah yes, 50th uh, McGain Cup. So St Mary's won the first, so we've been at the boys all week to make sure we do the 50th, you know, so it was a nice turn for the school, you know. I think that's our 29th or... It's good, great boys, just great desire in the second half, they didn't want to get beat. And the down boys put it up to us, which was great, you know, which... Just an amazing feeling, you know, to do it again, like, you know, and... we got another tilt at the All-Iron line, which will be nice, you know. I can't believe it. The work these lads have put in over the past... Not even two months, but seven years just to get here, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You a bit worried uh, in the second half they were a goal up? They were, it was a, they were a very good team. The, much, the amount they've improved over the past two years has been phenomenal, but it was a great game and Grab came out on top. Bit of history too, the 50th year? 50th year, can't wait. Two in a row as well. Bring all the All-Ireland.